If the golfers are honest with themselves, the stat is that 95% of the golfers cannot break 100, which is kind of hard to believe. But so then, you know, how do we break 100? And the fastest way to do that is to, is to work on your putting and your short game. It's a lot harder to go from 80 to 75. The better you get, the harder it is, the harder it becomes. But it's easy to actually take someone from 120 down to 100 or 95. I feel like that's the easiest kind of work to do because there's, a, there's nowhere to go but, you know, but up uh, or down, depending how you look at it. But I can certainly get you there. And it's about knowing your strengths and weaknesses when you're at that high score. And what's the quickest way to carve off 15, 20 shots. And it really starts with working your way back from the hole and working on the things that maybe you're not inclined, that you aren't so much fun to work on, putting and chipping and pitching. Probably the quickest way to do it is to, is to become proficient at chipping and having one chip a hole versus two. And also with your approach shots, finding out what the distance is to cover the, the hazard or the front edge of the green and then hitting it to that distance as opposed to what you see a lot with amateurs and high handicap players is that they're hitting the ball past the hole, above the hole, having to chip back down. And then we call that kind of shoelacing the green. You know, you're kind of going back and forth and back and forth. And that's how you end up shooting in those big, that's how you get those big numbers. So if we can cut down the chips to one chip instead of two, you know, and three putts instead of four, that kind of thing adds up quickly. And again, the technique and the, and the instruction to do that is not complicated. It's not something that takes a bunch of ability or some elite athlete to, to, to get there. And we don't have to get into your full swing and a bunch of athletic ability and timing and talent to learn how to putt and chip a little more proficiency, proficiently. So I'm confident through my 18 years in teaching golf, you give me someone who's shooting 120, I, I love to get them down to around, you know, breaking 100 quickly. So I think it's important to realize for the average high handicap golfer, the, the recreational golfer, if you are shooting over 100, it, that's where everyone is, you know, that, that of 63 million golfers or so in the country, you know, you've only got 5% of us that are, that are actually breaking 100 if they were honest with, with themselves and, and actually keeping score by the rules of golf. So stay positive, know that you're not alone, and it's also help us on the way. That's it for today. Thank you for tuning in. And as we launch this new, new channel, we really appreciate your likes and your subscribes and comments as well. Thank you very much.